When you sell products on Amazon, one of the things that you're probably going to first notice when you're either in stores or online looking for products to sell is that you're not able to sell a lot of them. This is called gating, and it happens when you look up a product, you see that it says requires approval, and you click into request approval for the item. Sometimes this screen will have a little blue bar across the top and say congratulations, you're approved, but when you're trying to sell bigger brands like Lego here or Nike and Adidas, you're going to see this page where it says submit documents either one purchase invoice of products or one letter from Lego authorizing you to sell their products. So in this video, I wanna show you in less than five minutes how you can get approved to sell Nike and Adidas products so you can open up your Amazon business to making a lot more money. I'm going to be honest with you, when I initially thought about doing this process, I thought it would be much more complicated than it actually turned out to be. And I did it just one day hanging out with friends on my computer because I was like, I should get approved to sell Nike and Adidas. If we look at the requirements to get approved to sell one of these bigger brands, we can see that if we submit a purchase order, it has to be dated within the last 180 days, including your name and address matching your selling account, the name and address of the manufacturer or distributor, show a combined purchase of at least 10 units, and they may ask for additional documentation, like pictures of the items when they get to you, but they didn't ask that for me specifically. And so what you need to do is find a distributor who will send you an invoice, something that says invoice on it, for an item that is either a Nike or Adidas item. The main distributor that a lot of people use is called East Bay. It's just an online website, and when you order from them, they will send you an invoice. Personally, I had previously ordered online arbitrage items from another website, which is how I got approved. And so very simply, because I knew that they would send you something that said invoice on it, I went over to that website and this is the key. I can't just buy any Nike or Adidas product. Let's just look at getting ungated in Nike real quick and the process will be the exact same for Adidas. If I come to Nike, first off, I'd probably wanna look through clearance items because even though the point of this isn't to make a profit, it would still be a good thing if I can make a little bit of money. So we'll look for a good deal like this shirt. So Nike Men's Legend 2.0 short sleeve shirt, but you can't just buy that item because we also need to go over into Seller Central. And if we come up here to catalog add products, here we need to make sure that the item that we're buying from whichever distributor shows up on Amazon. So we'll just search Nike Men's Legend 2.0 short sleeve t-shirt. And it looks like it's just the carbon heather and black one. So if we can buy that one and we can click into the listing just to confirm that it is exactly the same unit. Normally I like to see the same pictures. And this one doesn't really look like a great listing, only 21 ratings. So I think we'll pass on that and we'll find an actual product that has a listing on Amazon. And honestly, that's okay because the cheaper product we can find, the better. So you can even sort by price. And so it looks like we're able to find this item here. And honestly, any of these that we can match the color of, that looks like the exact same picture right there. So we can sell it in new. And the page that will show up for you will look exactly like the page that we showed on the phone. So what you do at this point, since you found that item, is you go back onto the website, you order 10 of those units, make sure that the name and address are the same. I was a little worried because when mine shipped, I actually had mine split into two different receipts. So I had four on one receipt and six on the other. And I ordered Nike and Adidas at the same time to get ungated. But I just added all those invoices together. And when I got my invoices, which essentially were receipts that said invoice on them, I just went here and said at least one purchase invoice from a manufacturer or distributor. And then I just clicked all these because all of it was true. And then I dropped my files right here. And then I didn't really add any more comments, just put my email address and submitted. And I'm pretty sure either one or two days later, I got this email. Hello from Amazon Selling Partner Support. Thank you for your application to sell Nike product. We have reviewed the documentation and your application has been approved. Please allow 24 hours for the approval process in our system to take place. And this is how you get ungated in any major brand. I'll leave a link down below to a step-by-step -step instruction document, which would be free to you if you want to access that instead of just this video. But at that point, you get to take your Adidas and Nike products, hopefully ones that you're able to find and sell for a profit, but that's not what's most important here. Ship them into Amazon and now be able to source those products and open yourself up to way more opportunity for selling. And if they don't accept it the first time, Try a second, third, fourth time. Everything is automated. Sometimes it takes a while for Amazon. If you have any questions, let me know down below, but that should be all you need to know to get ungated in less than five minutes. The longest thing for you will just be finding the product, but if there are clearance sales going on on East Bay or on this website, you might be able to find something pretty profitable while you do your ungating. If you're interested in how going to stores and actually buying products works, check out this playlist of all the times that I've gone and done that with you. Otherwise, YouTube thinks that you'll like this video the best.